Kampala. Now, the victims of Idi Amin's brutal regime Wednesday shared heartily stories of the trauma inflicted on them with the audience at the sidelines of the Unseen Archives exhibition at the Uganda Museum. The panel discussion interactions which saw numerous individuals share experiences also climax today. Uganda Broadcasting Corporation's exhibition of the Unseen Archive will, however, remain open to the public until November 2019 came to my mind was I used to believe so much in my father and I believed that somehow he had escaped because for us we never buried him we never saw his body so I kept on hoping that now that people are coming back my father would come I waited 79 80 the man was not coming up then at, I remember I sat in my room and I cried. I said, my father is dead. It took me long to believe he was dead. Remember, do you remember of any times when possibly your father was with uh, Idi Amin uh, and you possibly have anything to recall about that before his death? On those good days now, I'm looking at the I, bishop and the I, president. I only, um, I've had stories about uh, my dad going to state house my mom tells these stories because she insisted a couple of times on going with my dad. My mom, for some reason, had these misgivings about uh, the way Amin viewed my father and what he was doing. Mm. And she was always warning him, be careful. And she was one of those people to get out of those, out of the country. Mm. There are several people who said they, they talked to him actually after listening to what um, was being said in circles of state research and uh, other security circles. There are people who warned him and said you should get out of the country, you should go. Mm. And uh, the few Asians who remain here, I think they also left later on because maybe they were being threatened. And during those eras, up to 72, I had met Amin four times because... You personally? Uh, personally. Mm -hmm. It means uh, we were moving with the security, especially we went to a cargo place where Amin asked, he says, what is all this? He says, these are the goods you allowed them to take it. He said, did I allow anyone to take anything? He says, yes, Mr. President. Had he forgotten that? Uh, you had said 250 kilos of personal effect. Mm -hmm. And this is what you see it here. Victims 